Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Spore. In the last part we defeated the tutorial, which was not hard at all. And let's turn to the ship. There you go. Okay. Oh. Lower deck. Arsenal. Squad yeah, I know how to do this. Okay. Choose a hero to activate and add that hero to your squad. Since I'm Cogenitor level 3, I can activate one hero since I have Maldry, the Quantum Raider, which I think you can only get by pre-ordering the game. And if... Wait, maybe you can get it, like, later in the game, but I get him earlier. I don't know. So I'm supposed to activate somebody. And... I, I really like this guy. He is... Zrin the Sun Fist, and he pummels people, but he's got like a lightning fist and a fire fist, so depending on which fist he hits with, it does different uh, like effect. And his like ability is Pain Hound, so if he gets hit twice within like a couple seconds after using it, he spawns two little like fire dogs that run around and kill everything, so it's awesome. And he's got Meteor Strike and Plasma Column, it's awesome. So we're gonna get him and Add him Additional to my hero. Heroes will become thing. available as your progenitor level increases. So let's add him. Once available, heroes may be activated and added to squads. I got that. Okay. So what I'm actually going to do is I want to add him. Oh, I guess we'll edit. I don't want to edit him. Middle deck. I got it. Upgrading heroes with collected items will okay. increase their hero level I and make that. their abilities more powerful. I got it. Okay, let's go to my champions. Where would I go to that? Maybe right here. Nope, that's the editor. Um, where do I choose the champions? Actually, you know what? While I'm here, I might as well put these on blitz since he's the only guy that can use these weapons and except for now I'm going to change the way they look but I want him to get to this screen and I'm going to remove him as weird as that sounds and I'm going to add him now let's see what he does the Quantum Raider. Erratic Strike is his normal attack, which swift melee attacks that deal highly random damage. 1 to 18 damage. Wow, that's weird. Quantum Superposition. Blinks to the target and unleashes 6 successive attacks on random nearby enemies. Wow. Celestial Con... I'll figure these out as I go. Okay. So let's edit these guys before we move into the next level, which we are going to do at least some of today I'll see how this works oh right click oh man this guy's like a praying mantis what is this Hydra's galactic eviscerate oh I got armor because I pre-ordered the game okay so does he use dexterity he does critical rating he does a lot this is perfect for him which is probably why they gave it to me with pre-order. So let's put these thorns on. Let's make them long. So they're visible from a, the above view that I play the game at. Defense. Maybe I should give someone else this. Since he can only use... Let's see, how much health does he have? How much health does he have? 225? Actually, he would use like all of that bonus health. Yeah, he would. And the dodge rating is really good for him. The resistor. I don't want to make him like the superpower guy though. Utility. That's really good. Um I got some nice things, but let's change the painting. I don't I'm sorry if this gets annoying to watch like the editing because there's a lot of items. There are a lot of items that you can get. But this is part of the game too. This is like half the game. 
leveling and changing your guy and wow that looks weird and really cool and let's make it green no oh, that's not green that's that is kinda green but let's make it better green oh, that's strange looking let's leave it like that and detail let's make it like this what is that gonna do Oh, that is cool. That is cool. And of course, I'm gonna make it red. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see, what can we change? This guy actually looks really cool. I just decided. Um. Let's go back to this screen so I can change the size of all these things. That's one cool thing. You can't exactly change the uh, champion himself, like the hero, sorry. The hero himself. But you can change everything on him. So, and you can take it off. So the hero is still fully customizable. This is that's something I didn't know during the beta when I made my beta video. So, Let's see here. Let's move this back to where it was. There you go. And switch to Sage. Edit. Now, if you guys want, I could, uh, I could get rid of, like, the editing procedures that I do, but there's, I kind of don't want to. This is a big part of the game, but if you really want to... This has got plus 50% pet health, which is why I'm putting it on Sage. Even though I might not use him very often. It is a mask. That is really, really cool looking, and it's definitely made for this guy. And I didn't get any items for him, because it was the tutorial. But... I think he looks pretty cool, as he is. Yeah, he does. But let's add this. Hmm. That's awesome. He's got a yellow stripe down his center. Hero level 6 already. Wow. Okay, so they start at hero level 0. And the more items and stuff you put on them, the higher their hero level is. Man, what I did is I put that helmet on, it maxed his power. And it gave him a ton of mind and good things. Okay, and you guys probably didn't care at all about that. There you go. That is awesome. Let's move to the last guy and see if we can... See if we can speed along here because we're more than halfway through the video and I haven't done any action. But, see he's got a lightning hand and a fire hand and it's really, really cool. I like Sprint. Now, I can put a lot of different items on this guy. Now, the thing is, this costs 40 things to equip, and I don't think I have any left. But, let's see if I can do this and get away with it. Oh, I can... Let's get rid of these. Did that do anything? No, it didn't. Okay, so I can't put anything on him yet, because I don't have any DNA points, so... Let's cancel that. Yes. Which just will cancel all edits made to that hero. The other two are fine. See how they... They they look the way they were. So, let's go back... To my navigation screen. And we can start the first level. By the way, when I'm in... Instead of, like one video a day, I'm gonna do like an area a day. I'm almost positive. Unless these get really, really hard. I'm gonna start at like 1-1 one, one and work my way through every day. So, let's start this and this might take a couple more videos. I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do this actually. But we'll start We'll at least do 1-1 one, one today, 
and see how long each level is. I remember doing it, and it wasn't that long. But here is the introduction to the level. Initial destination, Zalem's Nexus. Perched on the edge of a black hole, these islands are all that remain of the planet Nacto. Known as Zalem's Nexus, this is the home of Quantum Genesis. It was here Progenitor Zalem made his life's work, piecing back together the fragments of Nacto to study in light of the black hole. Zelen was assisted only by machines, and carefully selected genetic heroes. In this oasis of solitude, the Darkspawn, long warned against, first appeared on mass, the progenitor's greatest fear. It went unnoticed at the time. But the attack would later be called the Nexus Massacre. The fragmented islands in the Nexus are overrun with quantum genetic dark spore. They specialize in teleportation and the manipulation of time and space. Great. Sounds dangerous. Planet scan complete. Dark spore identified. Okay. So, pretty much, you know how they said these guys will do two more damage to your type of guy. So the first guy I get is weak to four of the six different types of creatures in the first level. So I probably won't be him very much this level. Which is annoying, but let's go. By the way, yes, my name is Norian711 in this game too if you want to find me in it. Okay. So let's see, Q, this is my one where I jump around doing damage. The foundation of the Singularity Array, where for centuries, Progenitor Zelen collected specimens for quantum genesis experimentation. Zelen was the leader of opposition to experimentation with eDNA. He long forewarned that large-scale dark spore outbreaks would put all galactic life in peril. Okay. So let's run around as this guy, since these are... Wait, those are robots. I'll test out my, uh... Limited Edition guy. Oh yeah. One hit. Boop -a -doop -doop. Dead. And... Dead. Oh my gosh, that was... Insane. Ow. That's awesome. Oh, these guys will do extra damage to me, too. Oh, this guy's like an assassin. He just annihilated all of them. It's a pretty long cooldown on that Q, though. Not for what it does, but it's still a long cooldown. Okay, this guy's amazing. I love this guy. It's official. He's probably overpowered, but I still love him. Man, I'm, oh, I'm gonna be overpowered. I got limited edition. Of course I'm overpowered. Okay. Let's see. Oh, you're dead. I don't even care that you guys are supposed to be, like, super powerful against me. Ow, actually. That did a lot of damage. So maybe I'll just not run into their bullets next time. Ah. <laughs> wow. Or not. Um, let's see if I can get them all to run into the same spot again. Let's not run straight into you. And kill you. No, 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 no. Dead. Yeah. That's awesome. Time for you. Oh, he's immune. To everything. See, when I hit him with my uh, electric fist, I do, um... I stun him. Or there's a chance to stun him, and when I hit him with my fire fist, uh, does damage over time to him. Now, the timer went off. So, I will see you guys in the next video, which will also be up today. So you're going to get a lot of videos today from me. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys just a one click away. 